Well, welcome back. Humidity starting to come up a little bit here across the Twin Tiers with dew points running in the low 60s, but it's going to be more like upper 60s to near 70 for dew point temperatures tomorrow, and that's going to start to feel tropical like here in the Twin Tiers. Right now, well, uh, mainly clear skies across the region. Some patchy fog possible. There are a few isolated showers north central Steuben County right now. A little bit better chance for a thunderstorm tomorrow afternoon with the hot and humid conditions in place. But our best opportunity for a shower or storm will be tomorrow night into the first part of Saturday. That's when a cold front comes through, but that'll quickly push off towards the east. And we're talking mainly dry conditions for the weekend. Big game three tonight at the Dunn. The Pios taking on the Blue Sox of Utica. Partly cloudy skies at 705, looking at a game time temperature of 82 degrees. It's Thursday, latest drought monitor issued uh, earlier today, and unfortunately it hasn't changed a whole lot. In fact, most of our viewing area remains under that severe drought with little widespread beneficial rains here in the Twin Tiers. Now there's been some pockets of heavier showers, but nothing widespread. Uh, it looks a little bit better to the south and east of Elmira where there's been some more recent rainfall and we're hoping for some showers as this cold front moves in from the north and west, but primarily dry during the day tomorrow, even though it's going to be hot and humid and can't rule out an isolated storm. But as we go into late Friday night, here comes the cold front with the line of some showers and thunder showers that quickly blows through. Uh, rain moves off to the south and east Saturday to turn less humid. Very pleasant as we progress through the weekend. Now, for right now, we are looking at a few downpours uh, continuing here over northern areas of Steuben County. That's pretty much the only uh, portion of the viewing area getting some rainfall right now. And coincidentally, these are the areas that got hit last night as well. Pretty much one of the only areas hit with rainfall in and around the Prattsburg area. This tending to weaken as it pushes over the county line here. And most of this staying just to the west of Cuca Lake. But Doppler radar estimates now indicate almost eight tenths of an inch of rain in and around the Prattsburg area, even though the rain is beginning to wind down. So some localized downpours here. Otherwise, just scattered clouds. It looks like we'll stay dry for much of the area through the overnight period tonight. Mid 80s right now in Elmira, a little bit warmer back to the north and west, and we're going to get in on some more of that heat and humidity tomorrow. 90 hour five degree guarantee will give you a 30% chance for an afternoon shower or thunderstorm and future track here as we go through the day tomorrow showing that isolated chance, but this tends to fill in a little bit more tomorrow evening and especially overnight tomorrow night into early Saturday. You can see a downpour can't be ruled out first thing Saturday morning. This quickly pushes off to the south and east though and skies will clear for the afternoon. It'll turn less humid with winds shifting out of the north and west. Temperatures in the mid 80s on Saturday, but the cheese at 355 at the Glen forecast for Sunday. Mostly sunny, less humid, very pleasant temperatures with readings in the lower 80s. As far as temperatures went today, we forecast a high of 86, and that was the unofficial high at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport. 62 for low tonight, so on the mild side with mainly clear skies. 90 with hazy, hot, and humid conditions tomorrow. Slight chance for a thunderstorm. Some showers could spill over to the first part of Saturday, but much of the weekend dry. Very pleasant Sunday. Next week, we keep it mainly dry again. Just a slight chance for a thunderstorm on Wednesday, and by then, we're talking temperatures back near 90. But really, that forecast for Sunday, if you're going up to the race, you know, even if you're not a NASCAR fan, if you're going to the lake, if you're right. going to the park. Right. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Perfect for everything. And you'll notice that nice northwesterly breeze and lots of sunshine out there. Very pleasant conditions. All right, Joe. Thank you so much.